Without a doubt, vaccines are slowing down infections, but some Canadians who've received a single shot will show up in hospitals with COVID-19. We do anticipate that there will be uh, cases occurring just because of uh, the fact that uh, the vaccine effectiveness uh, is not 100%. Not 100%, especially against certain variants. But a large study examining healthcare workers in the UK found that after two weeks, one dose of Pfizer was 70% effective in lowering the risk of infection, even when variants were rampant. A Public Health England study also found a single dose of Pfizer or AstraZeneca can cut the risk of passing the virus on to others in your household by up to 50%. Even if it's one dose, you are protected protected and you're protecting your community. But not for everyone. I feel more vulnerable all the time. Alan Silverman has a rare type of blood cancer. He had his first shot five weeks ago. I know my potential for building immunities to this goes down with every day. That first dose offers our body genetic instructions to build those tiny spikes on the outside of the virus. They show our immune system a piece of the enemy so that it can build defenses to protect us. The second dose is very important for activating what is called the memory response, immune response, and the long-term protection. A longer delay between doses often builds better defenses, but not for people with weak immune systems. As a vaccinologist, I would not expect and not recommend uh, somebody to wait too long if they are immunocompromised. Giving more Canadians first doses does appear to be paying off. Still, health officials insist not enough people are vaccinated yet. Their advice, keep your distance, mask up, and get your second shot as soon as it's offered. Christine Virac, CBC News, Toronto.